Every industry has some dirty little secrets. But in the airline industry, most of us uh, passengers, well, we might be oblivious to what's happening behind the scenes. Maybe that's a good thing. It might be. Well, a list has surfaced online that divulges some of those secrets which may come to benefit you on your next flight. All right, Jeff is here with this list. Hey, Jeff. Hey, well, let's put a disclaimer out there first. This was posted by users on Reddit. Okay. claiming to be flight attendants, and then it was shared by the Huffington Post. So okay. we don't know if these users really are flight attendants, but okay. we're going to take you through the list regardless and just to show you what they are saying about some of these secrets. For example, one anonymous flight attendant writes, on night flights, we sometimes hold off on meal service as long as we can so that you'll be asleep, then we'll have less to do. <laughs> <laughs> and you blame them? <laughs> right. Another talks about those blankets that so many passengers ask for, especially on those long flights. The anonymous source says when they worked as a flight attendant, the blankets and pillows just got refolded in between flights and stuffed back in the bins. So they were saying yeah. that they're not fresh for you. I think we, I think you knew that. You kind of knew You that. knew that. Yeah. Uh, the person also advises that we do not touch the tray or eat from the surface of it because of how many baby diapers are changed on trays during uh, the flights. That's a yuck. Huh, uh, I know. Yeah. Another points out that when the pilot dims the lights during a night flight, they're not doing it so that you can sleep or feel more comfortable. They're doing it to prepare you for evacuation in case of an emergency. By dimming the lights, it allows your eyes to adjust to the darkness. That way, if you do have to leave the plane at night, you can see better. Your eyes are adjusted to it. A different source talks about the power of the captain, pointing out that the captain has the authority to arrest people, write fines, and even take the will of a dying passenger. Now, not all of these airline secrets are disturbing in nature. For example, the airline insider, this one, uh, for example, shares his secrets of scoring a better seat. On Boeing 747s, the secret seats are where you'd least expect to find them. On this Cathay Pacific 747, I'm in the last row of seats. But look, it's not three across, only two across, and nobody in front of me. It tapers out this way. So on a long haul flight, you got nobody in front of you, and you got extra leg room. And this one is interesting too. Another person claim, claiming to be a flight attendant says a lot of passengers don't realize they can be upgraded to first class after takeoff. They say it doesn't happen very often, but they do provide that benefits people who are extremely nice, well-dressed, pregnant, very tall, good-looking, or one of their own friends. Hmm, so is it unethical to get the belly bump, the fake belly bump? Would that might, be unethical? No, I might want to try that trick sometime. <laughs> yeah. And I've never been bumped to first class, so I guess Neither I don't meet I. that criteria. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> You know, what can we say, Jeff? That's uh, more factors in our decision whether to fly or not. You guys have to fly a lot. I, right. I prefer yeah. not to. You don't, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And we'll have more of these secrets coming up in the next hour. One of them has to do with those life jackets underneath your seat. Oh. oh. All right. Well, as we send it over were. to Rob Carmark, Rob. Don't you change your little girl on those trays that in front of us on a plane. Disgusting. Don't do that. I won't do it. Thank I won't you. do it. Okay. But I got to figure out how to be a tall supermodel who's pregnant and friends with the flight attendants <laughs> to get bumped up. Super nice. But yeah, I just got to get that, those things ticked off the list.